Hi Divine Feminine, we're going to do a little how do they feel about me video today. I've been going so very deep into the healing messages. I just want to, I see them like doing somersaults over and over again. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing my video. Be here now, claim your independence. I feel like they're just going back and forth and not knowing what to do. Life is speeding up. I do feel that very much. Let's see what you have. Oh, look at that. Owl and the hawk again. Brown bear. And bottom of the deck, canary, which I saw yesterday. And I feel like music is really playing a big role right now. Um, so you have you see clearly now. I just saw the magician. Um, let spirit be your guide. So I think, you know, we have leap day coming up. And this is a big... Uh, first of all, 28th is a huge day, astrologically, with the Kazemi. And then the leap day, of course, is just... It's an unusual energy. Um we have 43932, which is interesting. So they're looking into the future. You're kind of trying to be in the present. And this energy between you is like, can we, beautiful, can we be here now? Interesting. Some of the same cards as yesterday. Love the wheel. I love the wheel. Moderators don't, oops, don't love the wheel. The wheel. I do. We have two sevens again on the board. I think we've had two seven, like at least two sevens for quite a while now. Ace of Swords. A lot of the same energy as yesterday, and interestingly enough, the King of Wands that I felt present yesterday, but wasn't and we have the empress so three kings here i don't know that masculine's fighting for his life here <laughs> i feel like he's like wants to level up not sure how wants to talk to you is dying for some communication and doesn't know how uh, Right here, doesn't know how to get this done. It's like, how can he come back when he has really doesn't feel like he can offer you what he wants to offer you? Because he does want to offer you something, see? <laughs> so now I think we have all the kings. Um, kind of holding back that angel of love that's a beautiful card there yeah again we haven't seen this card come out like this for a while but see those two doorways he really feels a desire to walk through this doorway and to find a new connection with you like I really get the sense here that the past is kind of tugging at him, but the future is calling him. And he kind of realizes something that if he kind of wants to be the person that he, I, he's figured out something. If he wants to be the person he dreams of being and move anything forward, He's had this recognition that he has to let go of the past and this heartbreak right here. And he seems to be doing that. I mean, this almost looks to me like he's getting help somehow or getting assistance or understanding, you know, reading a book or talking to somebody that can help him get away from this internal conflict and strife. So, patience, triumph, 
heart chakra, financial and material changes, third eye chakra, conflict, base chakra. So instead of head and heart, I kind of see like 3D, 5D here. Um, which of course, I mean, we have the heart right here, but I don't know that he understands how to be like higher vibrational in his physical reality. And that scares him a little bit. Um, I think he's such a powerful manifester and creator that when he has to wait, it's so interesting that this guy's holding a red flag. <laughs> when he has to wait, it's difficult for him. You know, he's used to getting his way easily and quickly. And there's something here that's taking some time. Something just fell on the floor. That card that says, I still fantasize about us together just fell on the floor. Um, it's beyond my tripod, so I'm not going to reach for it because I'll just shake the camera. But I feel like he's kind of pushing that fantasy off to the side. I still have your shirt and I wear it. Venus. You see through my mask. Very interesting. Kisses. Ether. A couple of readings ago, I talked about that word ether and how it's been very important on my journey. Daddy vibes. Ooh, he likes what he sees. You're too beautiful. Mercury. I've tried to move on and it failed. Empress and sage smudge. If I called, would you answer? I miss your smell. Sagittarius soul connection oh he figured out he figured out something important here about the karmic i think this is an, a comment on the karmic that if he chose something else over you he just figured out it really wasn't what he thought it would be like it was fool's gold um I think you're really fearing, I'm planning to surprise you, you're really fearing, you feel like he's being deceptive somehow, or you don't trust that. If you've gotten any kind of messages, I don't think you've trusted them, or that they're real, or that they're, that he could possibly be making changes like this and yet you also sense it right mirroring um so to live in this is what keeps coming through i <laughs> like just say it don't explain it okay um the 5d earth you have to release all the karma and that means you have to release the fear you have to release and forgive anything that's been done wrong to you and they're saying this is the owls like kind of blessing for you is the wisdom it can both help and hurt you depending on how you use it um You know, there's a reason that you have this crown on right now, right? This Empress energy, this beautiful. But they're like, don't go backwards. Don't. You're seeing clearly. Don't take step backwards because of fear. You know, they show me. I don't, circus is the theme today. I don't know. They're showing me, it, he's tumbling. He's doing somersaults. You're walking a tightrope with a lot of, like with one of those uh, weight things you carry, the balance stick, whatever it's called. Um, and you kind of feel like you go higher and higher and higher and higher 
and the higher you go, the longer there is to fall. And the more there is to lose is another analogy there. Um, you know, it's interesting. You both came out of birds and they're using this very high analogy, right? I think hawks and eagles are the birds that can go the highest. I'm not sure on that, but I don't think owls necessarily fly that high. Um, the skill they're bringing up with this is that you can see in the dark very well and they don't want you to be afraid of that shadow and, and going through it and you're not wrong um that's all they want to say <laughs> like you're not wrong um but that doesn't mean you need to be as scared of it either so you know he's of course still just finding you intimidating, finding you amazing, finding you beautiful and seductive and too good for him. But then again, he's finding a newfound strength here of seeing whatever you see in him. He's seeing something in himself that's quite amazing. And This is a good sign. So this card says, confusion stems from your spirit, heart, mind, not being focused in alignment. Step back or go higher and use your spiritual connection to align. So they are emphasizing here a bigger picture. Um, like a spirit led picture. <coughs> and you have to So I saw someone say like on TikTok, which I'm not on very much anymore because it just drives me crazy. Um, how, you know, divine masculine leads a connection. I don't believe that. I don't think that. No, I've had every high level teacher you can have about twin flames. And no one's ever reiterated that at all. I don't believe that's the truth. Um, As far as like the body connecting here, that's all energetic and soul orchestrated. And your soul is one energy. It's not broken into masculine and feminine. That masculine and feminine is a duality found on this earthly plane. And Everything here is made in polarity, which is fear energy. I see where they're going with this. Um, I'm like, where are we going with this? You have to, to get to that soul perspective, you have to let go of the polarity. Polarity is here on earth. Now, can you fully let go of it while you're embodied? No, you cannot. Um, because your literal soul energy is polarized into two bodies and you are working with that energy embodied right embodied and he is more aware of the physical body and how much you affect him on a physical level. That way you affect him in the physical body is crazy intense. It's the same intensity you feel on a spiritual level, right? In the 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 way that he triggers you and like the signs the synchronicities the past life memories the 
layers of energy that you can feel, the heart awakenings, all of these things, right? That were like, what is this? Um, so it does have to kind of reverse in a way, but the reverse is like with a, an integrated awareness. And so you're going through this process of integrating the opposite polarity. Yes, masculine and feminine, but also like higher chakras, lower chakras, super conscious, base consciousness. Um, you can look at it any way that you want that as you get closer to the mirror that separates you, the energy wall, right? As you move and integrate the polarities, this is the wall of energy that goes up after that like initial honeymoon period that separates you and pushes you apart. Your work of integration continuously brings you closer and closer and closer to the center of polarity. And when the mirror is when the energy wall as you come closer it goes down um and that's the process of integrating your opposite polarity your reverse polarity your soul so i haven't talked about this stuff in a long time now um and obviously we've made some progress that oh god where were they going with this um Coffee break. <laughs> when you actually observe twins in union, this is my experience. I think I've only seen three pairs that I consider actual twins in union. Um, it's an unmistakable, like, flat line energy. I don't know how else to describe it, but you know how when you get near your twin, it goes like this. It's like these incredibly huge pinnacles, peaks of intensity. To get to the center, you have to integrate all of those peaks you, that can't happen like this to be together in the physical, okay? That's the best way I can describe it. Let's keep going, but I'm going to tell you that when you first see it, you see twins in union together, you will feel it immediately. You will unmistakably know. It, it's like if you're sensitive to energy at all, you will unmistakably know that feeling because it's um a very oh we had another car falling slide it's a very unmistakable energy it's a very it's like a signature and you can feel it and just the same way like you can tell your twin because you can feel a different energy look um it doesn't feel like anything else. It feels completely different. And, you know, you also kind of know the difference when a soulmate comes in. Because when you get close to your twin's frequency, a soulmate can come in. And it's just close, very, very close to your twin's frequency. And, or your frequency. And it's like it feels the same, but different. The only way I can describe it. Um, because I've been through that twice and I know what it feels like. It's like they feel very familiar but not the same. And they're there to help you with that frequency flattening. So healing heart fell onto the floor, coffin, self-indulgence, sunglasses, mirror, abundance, kisses again, twice kisses, camera. So we have three watching cards, chaser, clock and hands of time. 
I'm sorry, hand of cards. Love, ascending, heartbroken, seduction, karmic, passion. I feel like the feminine's going to have a karmic soulmate around them or come in or something soon, which probably means in the next month or two. I Since they're having me talk about the energy, which I haven't talked about, I don't think in a long time, um, I feel like this is a big step forward in the correct, like, in the right direction for you, that you took a big step forward in understanding <laughs> your own self-love. And self-worth and self-appreciation and that there's been some kind of healing of your heart energy that's very beneficial to you some of you may have had a pet assist in this a familiar of some kind an animal um some of you may have an animal that has passed be with you now some have had an animal come into or leave their life. There's assistance from animals right now. And that's um, karmic as well. So masculine is really watching you however they can. It's crazy because it's like this on the 5d level that they're trying to integrate they know i think they're just overcoming that doubt that doubt line but they're trying to uh, see themselves in you right on the 5d level they know already their soul is telling them this is my twin they know this but then and I think we've probably all been through this times where you're like, this is, this is too crazy. What would people think? That blah, 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 all the doubt stuff, right? Um, and part of what they're bringing up is like, sometimes we think surrender is like resigning ourselves to oh we will never be together in this lifetime or it's just not meant to be that's not surrender that's still a form of control um because we so have such a hard time right with the just be here now be here now accept everything as it is don't make it mean something don't project yourself into the future don't have to you know it's your ego self that's like oh it has to form some kind of projection into the future of like well we'll never be together and so i feel better um because they are saying, like, even though you may be trying to convince yourself that it's over or there's, you will never be together, this is not finished energetically. Does that mean you have to be in a relationship with them? No. Um, but there is a lesson here to be learned about strategizing. It's like, To be true to your 5D self, I don't know why they're having me use that term so much right now. Um, you don't need a strategy. The strategy is the mind, right? What they're wanting you to do is to forgive the heartbreak and in the forgiveness of your heartbreak there's a freedom from this toxic relationship or addiction is what they're saying you cynicism i so often see it when 
when there's positivity around, there's a the kind of way to keep ourselves safe from not feeling the disappointment that we've had, from hoping something would work out one way and it not, is to be cynical. And that's just kind of to pre-pave disappointment, right? So being very technical right now and getting you to see, and a lot of this comes from Abraham Hicks. So if you feel like you need more on that, go um, listen to Abraham Hicks in pre-paving um, where we can soothe our like cynical disappointment or, or cynical um, projection. And we can learn to pre-pave segments of intention. This is very, very old Abrahamic stuff. They don't really work with segments of intention anymore. Um, segments of intention kind of give you a way, if you're having control issues, to shift that control mechanism to something more positive, where you can say, okay, I'm... They're giving me an example of like going into a job interview. I don't know why. And um, so you're feeling like really anxious and you are building the fear up in your mind and your cynical brain takes over and you're like, I'll never get this job. Um, it's okay. Just, you know, accept right now. So you're not disappointed. And then you don't really prepare. You don't really try. You don't really act like you care. And you can apply this to any situation, but it's like, none of that is true, but you put this pre-pavement lens on that's cynical to protect yourself from feeling disappointment about yourself if you don't get the job. And part of this is a lesson in self-love of learning that your job doesn't make you worthy, someone's love doesn't make you worthy, you are worthy. and. And they're wanting you to kind of crumble away that cynicism that's there regarding segments of like, <clears throat> you can move forward one segment at a time. And they're saying, yes, this still is kind of illusion-y, but it's better to break it down that way until you can just be in the present moment. It's better to kind of go segment by segment and work with your self-concept, um, self-worth, and do the shadow work segment by segment and you will be a lot less uh, overwhelmed and You'll be able to kind of, they're showing me this card, like unravel the cynicism. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is a personal reading because um, this is the level that I kind of go into in personal readings a lot of the time. It's like they're, they're finding one thing that needs to be worked on next and kind of really going deep into it. So let us keep going. I thank you, Spirit. That was a lovely message that... Um, they're saying like some of you may have learned this from your masculine energy. Again, that masculine energy disappointment coming through where, you know, maybe your masculine energy growing up didn't really show up for you. Again, we have patience and worth waiting for. Release your ex, past life relationships, true love, deception, children. There's the mask. I don't know if I was talking about it in this reading, but I do feel that there will be... Um, an end of separation. I felt that for a little while now. I feel like you're going to see something. You're going to see a sign that's unmistakable. And <clears throat> your masculine is meaning for it to be there. Like I see the feathers here on the bear and then I see them falling here. And I do feel like it's you know, they've said this before, but I do feel like it's either they're posting something online for you to see. They're putting something in your path to see it. And it's like by the hand of the masculine. <clears throat> oh, 
even here she's holding a piece of paper it could be a letter or a message um but it does feel like it's it's they're like emphasizing the hand which you know when i see the hand it's manipulation because it's manny is the hand and that's um magician energy that's gemini virgo energy we have leo twice here fixed signs um all the kings so all the signs and a special emphasis on earth and the Empress, so Taurus, Libra. I mean, we have all the signs here and it's really quite a, a sweeping message in terms of you have been waiting a long time for something to shift and they're showing me, like, I don't really get into timelines like people do but they're showing me like the train tracks and when they like shift the thing over to the other thing and the thing that shifts the train tracks is letting go of this stuff past life stuff and this life past stuff um And in a lot of ways, it's like rewriting what you think love actually is. And he's doing a lot of this stuff by watching you. Um, again, they're just emphasizing if you feel cynical towards love, because I see several things here that there could be to ascend, you have to let go of heartbreak. You have to let go of uh, they're bringing up like people using you, <coughs> which could have been part of the history with your twin. It could have been the history with other people is that you really doubt their intentions. And so you doubt your worth, right? You're like, that's an indication that you have self-worth issues to deal with <coughs> that you think that okay so there's a shadow coming up here of ulterior motives and that <sighs> Strategy has come up twice, right? I think you've been surprised at what happened and that you may have trusted when they didn't show you all of their emotions or all their feelings or tell you exactly everything. <clears throat> And you just assume that they felt the same things you did, which of course they were, but their distrust is showing through the lower chakras, right? Which is a lot more brutal. Um, we have four, five, six, five here, seven, one, seven, you know, you two looking through the mirror and them looking at your <clears throat> basically spiritual ascended aspects and you looking at basically their lower aspects and in a lot of ways they were dealing with this stuff through the lower chakras, especially the base root chakra, which is, you know, feeding your carnal desires, feeding your ego, like at its lowest point. And this is very 
triggering to someone trying to be in their spiritual elevation, right? You in your crown and them at their root, trying to connect in the heart, we have a lot of miscommunication, misunderstanding, which I think is how I started the reading yesterday. And then I saw there's a lot of misunderstanding between what you two think you want with each other. And that's kind of the reason they're bringing it back to like, forgiving the past and stop projecting into the future and just being really honest. You know, here we have this, the, the hand being really honest. And it's interesting with these colors, how it's kind of segmented. That moving forward, You know, this card is always so interesting because she's up in the clouds. You have the kind of flower of life behind her. And then you have all these kind of stacked discs that are turning. And <clears throat> in a lot of ways, they can be like past lives. Um kind of coming up, coming back, coming through, and feeling those all at once is really quite overwhelming in a lot of ways. <clears throat> all right. Especially when you guys can't communicate with each other. And it's what makes that the triggering and the pushing apart, so very confusing to your heart, right? So there's an opportunity here for you to get some clarity around, It's like why he valued the things that he valued and why he couldn't really give you what you needed at the time is what's coming through. It's like, yes, he did love you. He does love you. There is love. Um, and this is kind of, to me, the, you know, the solar plexus chakra is like he couldn't. The sun is always the light of truth and he couldn't, his ego really couldn't allow him to give you that illumination, to give you that, that truth that you needed. <clears throat> Still, even if he revealed a lot. He didn't reveal everything. And I know that there's been this kind of collective um, message coming through tarot for a long time that there will be a secret revealed. And I don't really feel like anyone's gotten to the heart of the matter of what this secret will be or is. So I think we're all collectively kind of waiting to get the... energy of what the masculine is going to reveal like I think it's a collective energy you probably have heard it and I think a lot of people like say like oh it's about his feelings for you I don't necessarily think that's the totality of it I think there's a look at that mutable moon north node nothing is yet set in stone and I think that's why that they can't actually get the secret is that the masculine hasn't fully like downloaded it or or understood it embodied it I hope that makes sense anyway if you know what I'm talking about you know <clears throat> so you have show the world the real you full moon and Aquarius he has the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. And it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. So 
though. We're rapidly coming up to New Moon and Aries, aren't we? Um, a time to give rather than take. New Moon and Virgo. Meditate and contemplate New Moon and Pisces, which is what we'll have next, I think. So interesting. These are fast moving energies that are coming quickly to us <clears throat> and it's asking you to speak your truth um be your authentic self asking him so very interesting phases and cycles there's a beginning oops oh wow powerful energy very psychic there's a beginning with every ending. Illusions are revealed. <clears throat> and released. As I was saying, yes. I think that's what they're going through very much. They're, they're releasing, I think they've released for most of them, the illusions of the karmic situations. Um, I don't know. It's, it's going to vary. Um how fast they do this psychic insight your third eye is open see truth for what it is and follow your intuition i feel that very strongly for what else do i want here many of you i feel like you're having a lot more intuitions or just downloads from spirit you know you don't have to make it more than it is if you don't want to don't get freaked out about it or do whatever you want to, you know? um so we're gonna get some of these i'm just gonna put this here because we've had it like every reading and i'm kind of sick of it there's another emphasis to ground your energy and connect with nature it's literally been every time I use this deck it's there so we're just gonna have it as an overall energy this one too I'm like that one too oh man <clears throat> it's like stop fighting <coughs> stop fighting your ancestral patterns and heal them that's what I feel like this is Pleiadian energy on the bottom so you have trust the niggle what is the niggle feeling trying to tell you intuitive intuitive if you can meditate even five minutes this will be helpful for you right now I think the masculine is taking back their power it's another card of waiting if, I, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? There's a huge emphasis on transmuting fear, especially from your familial ancestral line, okay? And past relationships and past lives. But I would worry less about past lives, honestly. Like, you've brought everything to now, right? You brought everything to now. If you truly feel like it's helpful to deal with past lives, then do it. I have done it once. It was helpful, but I wouldn't say it was, it was helpful in terms of releasing. Um, I don't want to trigger anyone. So this is a trigger warning. I'll wave my hand in front of the camera. If you'd like to just skip this part. Um, I did a past life regression and I was, my twin did um, unalive me in a lifetime where I was persecuted for learning like sacred knowledge in Egypt. And it was a very pivotal kind of um, understanding. Integrating those lessons was a pivotal for me in like coming forward in this aspect um, as like a transmitter of sacred channel knowledge okay so <clears throat> if you feel strongly called to integrate past lives go ahead look <coughs> so interesting sorry my throat's not it's just having issues 
So that's a really interesting card to come up and look at trust and music. <clears throat> so they're being very strong on their emphasis right now. Um, you have meditation, as I just said. Any meditation <clears throat> or working with amethyst. <clears throat> I haven't had my voice to do this in a while, so. <clears throat> I think the masculine's really going to want to talk and have trouble doing it. Um, because for them to pull this card, it's a really big deal. And it's a real integration of the reality of this relationship. This is the master teacher card. Okay, so they have the lover's crystal. Which I have like one here. I have a better one, but it's out in my other room. Um, and then this would be a, like a past lives card for me. And then teacher, which it looks like the earth to me. And then we have trust, which is what we need to work on. And music. There's a lot of healing energies coming through music right now. Um, so this is a really beautiful advice card. I think they're very profound. It gives me a lot of hope for the masculine energy. So, wow, you have source dragon. He has orange dragon. So that, uh, sacral energy. Oh, beautiful rainbow and water bottom of the deck is the white gold dragon from lyra <clears throat> connects you to the highest christ light develop your causal chakra bathe in ninth dimensional christ light so the masculine had that yesterday you have source light attunes you to the i'm sorry source dragon attunes you to the infinite be still right another card of meditation in the silence magic can happen be in the moment right so we have the owl I do think it's really calling you to be here now, which is an animal card we had yesterday. Orange dragon brings soul families and communities together, spread belonging, warmth, and oneness, bring people everywhere together. And in between you, you have the rainbow dragon, brings the leap of joy that opens new doors, right? We did have that, the doors card. And I think I talked about that even. Um, have trust <laughs> have trust rediscover wisdom expect miracles accept opportunities so we have let them be closest between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives be a sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way secret admirer Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. And then if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. If you like a reading, I have them on my Etsy. I really appreciate you being here. I hope I gave you a clear message and that it assists you on your journey of healing and loving yourself more every single day. All right. <laughs> Bye.